Now I reckon this is going to be the last consortium cut pair, so let's do it. Yes folks, I think we're there. I just can't see um, any more consortium pair cups coming. Uh, into the annex. I think the final one that one is just not a pair of trainers that I would wear myself Anyway, welcome back to Annex with me Danny. Uh, welcome to another video. Now this pair is a little bit late I have had them about a week now, but I've just been so busy with work and life and things like that Like I can't do everything as much as I want to put loads of content out It's just not always possible right because life's in the way. Um, first of all this little, I know it's, it's a wind when I'm inside, right? But this jacket, I just thought I'd slide it on this video because I really want to shout out Gualia Classics. So Andy from Gualia Classics, who sorted me out this Island Series wind runner. Um, if you don't know Gualia Classics, their Instagram thing is just going to pop up there, right? And go check them out if you want any old school Adidas stuff. I've had a fair few bits off Andy over the few years or so. Everything is just how you want it like not everything's absolutely perfect but Andy's really fair with his assessment of the stuff he sells so go check them out if you like all the Addy tracky tops and things like that honestly the selection is fantastic and this I'm not joking was absolutely perfect an absolute minter anyway on to today's video because I for those of you guys that listen to the podcast um, if you don't, again, the link's in the bio down below. I was a bit salty because I didn't get a pair of these on the first release. Um, tried to get a pair, failed in the draw, and then nobody could hook me up a pair either at the stores because it was like limited pairs per person and things like that. But we have got the Consortium Cup Adidas ZX8000, the end pair. Now, in the first round, I got the Offspring Sambas and the End Sambas, and both fantastic pairs. Like I kind of, I think I put the End one slightly above the Offspring one, uh, just because I just thought, I just love those mix of materials. Um, and then skip the basketball because it's just none of them were kind of my style. And then ZX 8000s, I had to get both of them, didn't I? I had to get both. So you saw the video last time on the offspring pair this time we have got in the consortium cup paper adidas on there so here we are check these bad boys out the end zx8000 future pair <sighs> now What's ever, oh, and the 3M, you can see it pops up with the light. You can see the 3M on the toe. I was salty, and I mean salty, when I missed these on the first time round. And I just think Callum and the end team have absolutely smashed this round as well. These ZX8000s. So, let's get on to materials, and I'll give you my thoughts between the two pairs, because I did bring my offspring pair as well. So... Slightly different. So the what I love between them both is they're both completely different. So you've got um, like a leather round the front here, and it's like age. It's like a weathered kind of look to it. I, I love that. Same as the midsole. Oh, it's got a weathered look to that midsole. It's like futuristic. I think it was from like another planet. Is what they kind of based it on. I can't remember now. I love the little red uh, hit on there, and then. It's actually got a ripstop material, I think is what they said, uh, on there, on the toe box. So again, another different material to the Offspring pair. I love the little end tag on there. My lace is a bit crossed over, that's a bit annoying, but uh, I've only just unboxed these, so I've not really played around with them. Uh, again, just little details. I love the little leather ice there. Obviously, you've got the consignment cup there. The heel cup, so this is different again. This is the classic plastic like TPU kind of heel cup around the back and then you've got this red netting just round uh, in the little bit there um, obviously you've got the adidas on the tongue and on the back tongue you've got future end and we've got the little future 
let her in up there. Also, yeah, like the offspring pair, you get the alternate tongues. You get the end tongue on the left pair and the adidas tongue uh, on the left pair, on the left shoe, and adidas tongue on the right shoe. And I just think, here's my thoughts. I thought these were just absolutely outstanding, to be honest. Um, you also get a, a, a different lace with the M pair. So you got the different goodies with the offspring pair and you got a lace flip with the M pair. I'm not sure. I think I'll leave, I kind of like these weathered different laces with the, it's almost like a tie-dye lace, but obviously not tie-dye, is it? Because it's not tie-dyed. I just think these are fantastic. I love the weathered look on it. And all I've had ever since I've kind of posted the video, and I have put a few pictures on Instagram of both, is which pair, right? Which pair would you be having? And I just think it's, I don't think there's a choice, and I'm not just saying that as a cop-out. I genuinely don't think you have to choose one or the other. For me, this is not something you could kind of get away with every day. Like, it wouldn't, like it probably wouldn't go with what I've got on today, for instance. Um, it's a shoe that you'd have to think very carefully about your outfit on. And also, it's a noticeable shoe, if you understand what I mean by that. Like, you could wear it to, like, an event, and everyone would kind of notice it because of the colours and, and just what it is as well. Whereas, and I've just brought, now I've, I've been wearing my offspring pairs, right? Because they're just so good. These, this is so, so good. This, you can get away with wearing with all, I could wear this with what I've got on now, quite easily. This is a lot more wearable. But what I love between the two is just the contrast of the materials. So, this is like suede and mesh, and this is leather and ripstop material. This is like, this is a very clean colourway. This has got a little bit more patina to it, I think is the best word I can use to describe. And again, I couldn't wear the end pairs every single day, but if you really wanted to, the offspring pair, absolutely every single day will go with pretty much anything you're gonna go, you know, the grey, well, like a taupey material, really. They're not that grey. When you put, I put a grey sock on with it the other day, and I realised they weren't very grey. They're were almost more on the top cream kind of. There is a bit of grey in there as well, but they're not that grey if you get what I mean. And I just look even to the point like the heel cups, like the Offspring heel cup, like we said the other day. They've these got a leather one, uh, and this one's plastic like normal. They're just everything about them is just completely different. And I just think it's brilliant. A man and the offspring team smashed this one. Callum and the end team have smashed this one. Even the themes that have run between uh, all of them, end and offspring, absolutely. I can't say smashed it again because I hate saying the same word, but what other phrase can I use to kind of say how well I've done? Honestly, both pairs. I'm so glad I've picked up both of them. So in the comments down below, let me know what do you think? Uh, have you got a preference? Do you, did you pick up both? Do you like both? I know these were very, well, they both kind of sold unbelievably really well, like things don't sell out these days, right? But both of these, I'm pretty sure, have sold out everywhere and that just shows how good, how good they are and how highly regarded they're held by, uh, by the community. So yeah, ZX 8000's Consortium Cup semi-final pairs, what a couple of pairs they are. Now, um, I did say there was going to be three videos this week um, because there was a pair of Adidas Barleys that I was giving away. But instead I like to mix it up. So if you don't follow on Instagram, make sure you go to the Instagram page as an Instagram Live and gave them away on Instagram because if you want to be involved in the giveaways, what you actually need to be is an Instagram subscriber. So I thought, might as well do it live on Instagram for everyone who subscribes and everybody else. So all the giveaways from now on will probably probably be over on Instagram and I'll just do like the reviews and stuff. Maybe the odd one might make it over here, who knows. But yeah, we're into the month of March now. I don't know what's dropping in March. Maybe something on the rumour mill might be dropping in March. So we'll see about that uh, later. And there's a few of the good pairs that uh, maybe I should do like a review of what's coming up. Like even if I don't have the shoe, like I've always thought to maybe do a previews like just what's coming out this week, even if I physically don't have the shoe. Let us know what you think, although we do do something very similar on the podcast.
like I say, if you don't listen to the podcast, please do. Me, Henry, Nicole, we have a right laugh making it. Uh, the links are in the bio for the podcast. Honestly, it's absolutely... I love making it. So I'm going to say it's brilliant content because I won't put it out there, would I? But do you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you next time in the annex. Bye.